I'm Father Brian Brooks, and the pastor of the Church of St. Benedict here in Broken, Oklahoma, to offer a reflection for today. Today is Wednesday, August the 26th, and today's reflection is the poem, The Divine Image by William Blake. Blake was an Englishman, he was a member of the Church of England. He dies in 1827. Uh, he had a great uh, distrust of materialism and also what he's going to see what was going to become the Industrial Revolution. Uh, so he uh, focused a great deal on the divine presence in one's life. And uh, it was also as a, a, a writer, a poet, uh, and a mystic. So today's reflection, The Divine Image by William Blake. To mercy, pity, peace, and love, all pray in their distress and to these virtues of delight return their thankfulness. For mercy, pity, peace, and love is God our Father dear, and mercy, pity, peace, and love is man his child in care. For mercy has a human heart, pity a human face, and love the human form divine, and peace the human dress. Then every man of every clime that prays in his distress, prays to the human form divine, love, mercy, pity, peace. And all must love the human form, and heathen, Turk, or Jew, where mercy, love, and pity dwell, their God is dwelling too. So Blake uses the, the gift of poetry to express the, about the, the divine grace is bestowed upon all people. He deliberately includes those who are not, uh, not Christians. Uh, the, the Turks is a, re is a refuge to, to Muslims, uh, the Jewish people, of course, the, uh, as well. And that uh, we must recognize the dignity of every person uh, in that divine image of that love, mercy, pity, and peace. So, God bless you and keep you safe.